state industrial laws around the ABCC. They are a federal law, a law to them fucking selves, they are gone. But we still have the laws in this state and we're calling on Labor again today to get rid of them. Now is the time for the Labor governments to stand up for us as workers. It's the, supposed to be the workers party, so let's put up and make sure that they look after us. And that means, as Darren said, bring in IR laws that bring back power to workers in workplaces, to bring back union rights, to bring back the right for us to collectivise and strike, for us to have the ability to make sure that workers get a fair job with fair pay. And what we've seen over the last few years is pay is going down, cost of living going up. It's not good enough. This Saturday, uh, we'll be uh, taking, hopefully all of you will be there, a huge contingent down to Port Pembla uh, to show our disgust for the AUKUS deal that's been done uh, and that we want to see Port Pembla as a hub for renewable energy jobs and that's what's been slated, that's what was agreed, not bringing in a whole bunch of nuclear submarines that are going to uh, you know, absolutely take away, let alone uh, our sovereignty, but also takes away our ability to actually pay people decent wages when you're paying $350 billion on three uh, submarines. What does that leave for the rest of us? It's, uh, it's disgraceful. I hope you can all join us. 6th of May, this weekend down in Port Kembla. Meet at Wollongong Station for the Union contingent from Sydney, and I'll see you there on, uh, on Saturday. On International Workers' Day, I want to send a clear message to Chris Minns. I want to congratulate Chris Minns on being the Premier of this state and winning the election with our support. But I also want to send Chris Minns this message. There's some shit legislation in New South Wales. Anti-protest legislation. Protests are what made society. Workers, communities having the ability to walk off the job, to walk into the streets, to protest against injustice, We'll be here forever, no matter what the fucking laws say. So on International Workers' Day, I ask Chris Minns and the newly elected Labor government to repeal those anti-protest laws and do it immediately. 
Congratulations. Happy May Day, brothers and sisters. We look at the last 10 years. Figures come out only the other day. 93% of economic growth in the last 10 years went to the 7% richest people in this country. 93%. So we got the 93% of the people in this country got 7% of that economic growth that we created. Shame on the system, shame on the capitalists. Solidarity forever with you. This is our day. Workers of the world unite. We've got nothing less but our chains to throw away. Solidarity.